You're watching True Crime Coverage with Angela Renee. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notified. Let's get started. Hey guys, I have an update regarding the Herlene Dulai murder case. Now, if you haven't watched my video covering the case or my first update about the case, click on the links in the description box below to catch up. I will not be reviewing the case in this video. So guys, I was glued to the Clark County Courts.us district portal yesterday on 12-3 because that was Akshaya's sentencing date, which I told you guys about in my last video about the case. However, the hearing was on record, but not the sentencing outcome. Why they play me like that? On December 3rd, 2021, at 5.37 p.m., an article written by Caitlin Newberg from the Las Vegas Review Journal states that District Judge Jacqueline Bluth sentenced 40-year-old Akshaya Anthony Dixit Kubiak, yes, I'm stating his full government name, to 8 to 20 years in prison for the voluntary manslaughter of Herlene Dulai. According to the article, during his sentencing hearing yesterday, Akshaya said Herlene attacked him while they were on drugs. And when I say drugs, I'm, I'm talking about mushrooms specifically. Now, Akshaya said that he blacked out and didn't remember attacking her. According to the article, Josh Tomshak, Akshaya's defense attorney, told the judge that Akshaya has no prior criminal history and accepted the plea deal to spare Herlene's family the trauma of a trial. Now, during the defense's memorandum, pause. Okay, you guys. So I'm just going to do a little side note here to let you guys know what a memorandum is. I had to Google it myself. So basically, what a sentencing memorandum is, is that it's a, a written, it's written by the criminal defense lawyer to the judge in an effort to present a more complete picture of the defendant other than just the crime itself. So hopefully, the judge will be in support of a lenient sentence. All right, play. I'm going back to it, you guys. Josh Tomshek addressed Judge Bluth asking for Akshaya to serve a minimum of four years in prison instead of eight. However, Judge Bluth said that while she agreed Kubiak had a low likelihood of committing another violent crime, she said that the lower sentence would not reach the gravity of this situation, the pain that the family members will forever have to deal with. By the way, I just want to shout out a viewer, Angelica Jacka. I want to shout you out just for letting me know about Akshaya's sentence, because you know, I was looking at the, the Clark County US website. And remember, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. It's a free way to show support for my channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload a new video. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Comment down below and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.